Another glorious day in the Corps. Day in the Marine Corps is like a day on the farm. Every meal is a banquet. Every paycheck a fortune. Every formation a parade. I love the Corps. Nice Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. And as promised, I got a brand new Cadian flesh tone. The other one was just horrible. Open it up, shake it as many times as you can. Still doesn't, you know, give you a viable paint. Hopefully this one will. Well, shaking it up and I'm hearing the quick 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 of viable paint, so Let's hope. Ho oh, oh, ho! Look at that. Success. Beautiful looking paint. Alright. That means that we can get going on Vasquez. Again, we'll pull her apart. Eh, like that. And one of the things that we're going to do first, though, is we are going to clean up her chest armor. Because that went to hell in a handbasket. Well, not really. It's got a little bit of a little bit of paint on it. So you can see basically right there. Got a little paint on the chest, which doesn't belong there. So, and just like that, it's just like that, it's gone. Now, we did manage to get some of the same color of paint on part of the weapon. But that's okay. We're going to clean that up later. Because we're not even there yet. We're not at the point of the weapon. We're at the point of doing the face. So let me pull some of this out. There we go. It's under me, you can't quite see it. That's okay. Well, I'm happy to have the the new Cadian flesh tone. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull out the insane detail brush from Army Painter. There we go. Right there. Hopefully, what that's going to do, it's going to give us a nice small tip. I'm going to put the funny thing on. That's right. Water down, Cadian flesh tone because we're just using it as a high, as you know, as a very tip highlight. On her fleeches, well, oh, flat. There we go. Use it on the cheekbones, on the brow. Yep. 
on the chin underneath the nose as best as we can you know she's uh, she's Hispanic so Try our very best to to keep the to keep the darker uh, the darker look of her skin. We don't want a lot of don't want a lot of highlight. But we do want a little. There we go. Moving on to the arms. We're just gonna Kind of hit the tops of the muscles. Still keeping, you know, still keeping that undertone. the knuckle a little bit you know where the you know where the where the highlights coming off the muscles would be again just a little nice and light Again, if you mess up a little bit, you can always go back to the other color. Give a little bit of a touch up. Like I said, I don't want too much of the lighter color. Just enough. To help give you the definition of the muscles. There we go. And that's really it for the Katie and Flash. Wasn't very much.
Now we're going to continue working on on her head of the uh, you know, of Vasquez. Next up is our iconic bandana. And we are going to use the Citadel small layer brush. So what we're doing today is we're just kind of roughing in some of the colors, you know, working up, working up the pieces. Good. So, as you can see, we're, you know, we're working on working on putting the red of her bandana. Her bandana on. And, you know, like I said before, these miniatures are actually pretty darn good. They're pretty detailed. Um, let's see worse, and we'll get to those in a little bit here. And I've seen better. As far as these ones go, um, I'm, actually quite, I'm actually quite happy with them. They were fairly easy and simple to put together. Um, and you know they're not terribly terribly hard to follow as far as instructions and everything you know, some of them are even single like single to two piece um, like the Burke and Bishop miniatures, they came off the sprue just as they were. You have to worry about putting them, 
putting any of any of that stuff together. I mean, oops. Oh, it's okay, it's gonna be cleaned up anyway. Got a little bit of red on her on her harness, but that's okay, we need to clean that up. Alright. Well, the base of the bandana is done anyway. Going to work it up a little bit. And then we're going to see what we can do about maybe adding in some of the details. Just a little white, because she's got little white patterns on it. Um, and I'm going to see what I can do to add those in. Now, it's not going to be 100% exact. You know, that that would be <laughs> that would be kind of silly. Possible uh, for painters with greater skill than I, uh, but for what we need it for, I don't think it's terribly terribly needed. Uh, what we're actually going to do right now is we're going to move on and we are going to go to her we're going to go to her base now what I've been doing is I've been trying to make the base the bases look kind of um, kind of dirty metal-ish just a rough dirty metal it, you know it's not nothing horrible again these are game pieces so I expect that they're you know I want them to look good, but I don't need them to look perfect. I don't need them to look, you know, up to a character level. Uh, I mean, a character level means, you know, putting a super lot of time doing wet blending, uh, super amounts of highlights. Um, these guys, I don't think they really need that. Um, it's a board game. But take your time, you know, take your time, make them how, make them look however you want to look. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take Iron Warriors, right there. And we are going to grab a nifty kind of round, round tip brush. Uh... I think I just got it from my local uh, art, art supply store. That should be about all I need. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work the paint. We're going to work the paint into the grating. Make it look like she's standing on metal decking. will tidy up her boots and just tend to when we will we will be getting the silver on them. There we go. Super easy. Now what I'm gonna do afterwards, probably when we're done when we're done for today, just so that we can um, let it dry is I'm gonna give it a hit with Argrax Earthshade. 
and it's going to pool in places, so it's going to darken up the it's going to darken up the the, the lower parts. You know, here it's going to pool in there, but it's also going to kind of kind of mess up the top, so it's not going to be quite as clean, not as not, not as clear as uh, as it is right now. But in the meantime, what we can do is we can go on and we can do the boots. We can tidy those up and maybe even do the hair. They're pretty much both the same color. And for that, I'm using Rhinox Hide. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tidy up the boots. We got a little bit of overpaint from both the camouflage and the metal decking. And while we're letting the boots dry, we're going to go up, we're going to do the hair. Same color. It's going to be Rhinox Hide as well. Trying to be as careful as we can. Or we're painting the hair. But if we get, you know, if we get a little bit of the hair color on the bandana, that's fine. Let's go back and touch up the bandana. Now she is wearing a headset, and that we're going to pick out here in a minute. The headset's going to be picked out in the military green that we've used on other parts of the miniature. And for that, I'm going to have to go back to the wall because 
I decided that I was going to put it away. Because I didn't think I needed it anymore. Boy, was I wrong. Okay. Again, we're going to go with the weird little headset thing that I have. I'm going to go with the insane detail. A little bit of water. A little bit of the military green color. Paint. Paint the headset. Helps it stand out a little bit against the rest of the miniature. Otherwise, it kind of, kind of gets lost. Is that kind of kind of like how that looks? You know, her eyepiece is the olive drab color. Actually, the camera is black, so we'll have to go in there and fix that. But that's okay. All comes with and all comes with the territory. Just learning learning how to do things. Well, our Vasquez is coming along quite well. And uh <laughs> I'm excited to see what she's gonna like look like when she's all finished. So what we're gonna do right now since it's just a couple minutes before we're done for the day is we're going to put that aside no more insane detail for today but we are going to take our medium layer brush and the Agrax Earth Shade give it a shake And we are going to give the plating that she's standing on a wash. Kind of make it look a little musty, dusty, old, and walked on, and what have you. Pretty darn good. Uh, 
There we go. And now we can let that dry and when we come back next time it'll be all good. So that's kind of how the Vasquez is coming along. She looked quite good. And she is looking good as we go along. So until then, uh, paint safe. And we'll see you in the workshop.